This is a demonstration of Thermacount brought to you by Thermosolutions, available at www.thermo-solutions.com. Thermocalc is the most powerful room by room heat loss program on the market and is the only portable design tool in the industry that can be used effectively on any device, anywhere, anytime. Providing instant answers to two of the most demanding calculations, the design heat load for boiler sizing and radiator required from a catalogue for radiator, heat pump and underfloor heating selections. Converting all relevant calculations from the acclaimed domestic heating design guide into one powerful mobile app, Thermocalc is so easy to use Virtually no previous experience is required. Calculations that once took hours now just take minutes as background calculations on thermal bridging, intermittent heating, ventilation, heat loss and exposed locations to list a few are all worked out for you taking the hard work away. Travelling with your mobile never leaving your side, Thermocalc will save you time and money. So let's go through an example. You're first prompted to save the file you're about to generate. I'm going to call this report Thermocalc Demo. The building tab lets you pre-select the most common elements in the property such as windows and walls. They can be easily changed later for different fabric designs. There are 20 external walls in the drop down menu, all shown in their cross sectional form ranging from solid stone through to geotextile membranes of polyfoam and waterproofing for rooms below ground level. I'm going to select an external wall consisting of brick insulated cavity, aerated block and plaster. There are four internal wall structures to choose from. I'm going to select an internal wall design of plasterboard, studding and plasterboard. In the window drop down there are 15 designs to choose from, ranging from single wood frame through to PVCU triple frame with low E glass. Let's select PVCU double glazed as being the most common window type in our property. And finally, select the number of rooms in your report. They can be seen here on the left. For this demonstration, I'm going to select just the one room. The design of any system relies on the input of several key factors, one being outside temperature. This will be your estimate based on geographical location. The default is minus 3 degrees C, with options to go down as far as minus 20. Select yes in the exposed location field if the property is on a hill, riverside or by a coast for example. And select yes to intermittent heating if known parts of the central heating system are not to be used at the same time, for example zoning. Radiator temperature versus room temperature, known as the F1 factor, is simply the average temperature between the flow and return pipework minus the design room temperature. So if your flow and return average is 60 degrees and your room temperature is 21 degrees, the result is 39 degrees. 39 is the default figure reflecting a common condensing boiler and radiator installation. You may wish to consider selecting a lower emission factor for heat pump and underfloor heating systems. If you're unsure about this, consult the manufacturer. The final field in this section is the radiator connection factor, known simply as the F2 factor. The default for this field is bottom opposite end with an index of 1 and reflects the most common design in today's radiator market. All that's left is to click on the Go to Rooms button. There are 24 different room types, 13 domestic including basements and kitchens, and 11 non-domestic including offices and restaurants. Our room is a domestic living room. Having selected your room type, the system displays the design temperature to work to with the option to change it, should you wish. Overriding the design temperature can be useful if your selected room serves more than one function or is occupied by an elderly person, for example. There are four walls in our living room. Next we are asked if any of our walls are over four and a half metres. Don't worry if you're unsure, as the programme will intuitively search for walls over this height and apply the additional calculation on your behalf. And finally, select yes if your living room contains a chimney or an open flue. Total wall lengths and widths are typed into their relevant fields. Window measurements are placed in the glazing fields beneath. Separating the two in this way allows the system to work out the net wall dimensions. If a wall is completely glazed, such as those found in the conservatory, basement or extension, place your measurements in the glazed, length and width field. Wall 1 is 3 metres long and 3 metres high. If you scroll down the wall construction tab, you will see our two pre-selected external and internal walls from earlier at the top of the list as well as the other 22 wall options beneath. Wall 1 is our pre-selected external brick insulated cavity aerated block and plaster wall at the top, so we select that. You will notice that because we have selected an external wall, the system correctly prevents us from selecting any room as being on the other side of our wall. Our options here are outside, ground, neighbour and corridor or passageway. 
if we select neighbour as being on the other side, the window and door fields disappear. This is because you should not have a window or a door overlooking your neighbour. Similarly, door options are made available only when external walls facing either outside or to a corridor or passageway are selected. I'm going to select outside as this wall is exposed to the element. A window of 1 by 1 meter is on the wall. Our pre-selected PVCU double glazed window is already selected for us. A standard size door measuring 2.6 by 6.6 .6 feet is on this wall, which is approximately 0.8 by 2.1 meters. So this is what we type in and it's made of solid wood. As you can see it's all pretty straightforward. Wall 2's measurements are the same being 3 by 3 meters. It's an internal wall so we select our pre-selected internal wall type second from the top with a kitchen as being on the other side. Wall 3's measurements are the same being 3 by 3 meters as well as being the same internal wall structure. The only difference being a hallway on the other side. Wall 4's measurements are the same again being 3 by 3 meters. It's an internal wall so we select our internal wall type second from the top and select an office as being on the other side. Having completed all our walls we can now go into the flooring section by selecting next. There are 10 designs to choose from split into two categories insulated and for older style properties non-insulated. Our floor is constructed from timber, joists, 100mm insulation and 6mm sheeting. Our floor is the same as our wall being 3 by 3 metres. For irregular shaped rooms, take the longest measurements. And beneath our living room is a basement, so that's what we select from the drop down list. Selecting next will take us into the final section, ceilings and roofs. Our ceiling section provides us with ceiling, roof and glazing options. The same insulated and non-insulated constructions that were explained in the flooring section are displayed here. If your ceiling is all glazed, such as those found in an extension or conservatory, you can select all glazed at the top. Ceiling fields are now changed to glazing fields, as well as providing the option of a glazing construction type. Notice our pre-selected PVCU double glazed option conveniently carried forward from earlier. If the ceiling is in fact a roof, then we need to select a roof view value. The system now provides us with glazing fields to reflect roof lights or a similar construction. If a ceiling construction type is selected, Thermocalc senses this to be part of the internal envelope so makes available the option of a room as being on the other side of the ceiling. In our case, it's a bedroom and the measurements are 3x3. Three three. And that's it. All that's left is to go to the summary screen. Our report now is 100% complete. There are three main columns titled Design Temperature, Radiator Required from a Catalogue and Calculated Heat Load. The design temperature displays either the default or our manually adjusted room temperature. The radiator required from a catalogue in column A is the actual radiator output or heat emitter size needed for your room, which in our case is 1,323 watts. This will be your selected radiator size, heat pump or underfloor heating selection for the room. The calculated heat load in column B is simply the output energy required from the heat source or boiler for the room. So for boiler sizing, refer to this column. Our living room requires 934 watts or 1 kilowatt including pipe work losses from our heat source for space heating. You may notice that for heat pumps and underfloor heating designs that require a lower mean water to room air temperature F1 factor, your calculations are considerably greater in column A than those for a traditional radiator type installation. This makes sense when you consider the lower radiated surface temperatures for these systems. Thermocalc is really flexible so have a go at playing around with the figures. For example, if we wanted to change our design to reflect an underfloor heating system, we would select a lower emission factor from the report settings tab on the left. And straight away, a larger calculated output in the summary screen is generated in column A. Experimenting this way lets you quickly see the effects that different heating systems have, allowing you to accurately design, specify and adapt to new plans at any point of a project. The report can now be printed, emailed to a customer or supplier, or just saved to your portfolio for future reference. You can also link different files together. And finally, don't forget to combine your total heat loss figures here in Thermocalc with Aquacalc's hot water recovery calculations for systems that also have stored cylinder and hot water demand. And for solar thermal, try linking your files with SolarCalc, where entire solar thermal installations can be designed in less than a minute. Getting it right couldn't be easier. Thermocalc, Aquacalc and Solarcalc 
portable software for the plumbing and heating professional. Available at www.therma-solutions.com.